Hello, today we're going to talk about the Eon Marketplace, where you have earning opportunities for both creating and collecting XR experiences. And this uh, new features, it will be released in October. So the goal is to ensure that creating and consuming XR experiences can be profitable and that the value of users' past work can increase over time. People need to be recognized and able to make money and have value of their work compounded over time. Now, how do we do that? So when you create, you can sell what you create. So you create NFT XR experience and sell them on the marketplace. Our target audience with this is our existing customers, teachers, students, but we'll also open up for freemium users that can purchase tokens to create and collect XR experiences. They can earn tokens with their NFTs that they can sell. And creators get 70% of the sales amount. Uh, we also rank the experiences based on each category, based on views and likes. Furthermore, the creators get their personal scorecard. They can see how many experiences they published. They can see how well appreciated, how many likes the experiences have. And they can also get their earnings amount. But we don't stop there. Collectors or buyers can learn and earn. We are enticing users to collect or buy NFTs on the marketplace and join also something we call knowledge competition. I'll come back to that. So, for example, students and teachers can learn and earn by collecting those experiences and competition, but also freemium users can purchase tokens to be able to collect and compete. Now, when you collect this type of experience, it is a little bit like buying a travel destination. You may have an experience bucket list. You are becoming a collector, uh, very much like we collect movies. Or, um, but more important, these experiences over time have compounded value. And you can trade them. You can buy, you can sell, but you can also buy and sell physical spaces but we, on which you put the NFT experiences locked to a certain geo position. So let's say you can buy Piccadilly Circus in London and there you can place your persistent NFT experience for a certain amount. And of course you may buy it cheap, but over time Piccadilly Circus value will obviously increase. Now, let's go to some examples of NFT experience. Uh, it can be a lot, it can be simple lessons, uh, can be training, uh, can be MRO procedures uh, that you see here, can be even what we call giant egg hunts where you are out in nature, uh, can be shared experience learning or enriched physical spaces where you take a, your space and you persistently place various items in that space. Or themes, you can have a history theme or you can have some type of art uh, XR art or you can actually even trade a guided tour uh, for shopping in London uh, at Harrods or uh, you can trade an extra experience at the museum that you recorded and persistently tracked that enhances that museum experience what about interactions yes you can have engaging avatar interactions as we can see here and also uh, virtual museums uh, with artifacts that come to life. So those are just some of the experience, but it is so much more. The marketplace also contains segment-specific applications. So industry, health, security, safety, hospitality, architecture, education, and many more. So let's have a look. So here we talk about what? We talk about factory and plants, technical training, aerospace applications, maintenance, repair, operation, logistics, and other, just to mention a few. Uh, there's a longer video here that you can look into. I will just quickly browse through that. So you can see, for example, plant application here. Um, you can uh, see here a maintenance, a repair, operation, plant for aircrafts. Uh, 
Um, and you can see here an oil and gas facility uh, or a workshop uh, for combined, but also things like technical vocational training for electrical electricians or plumbing or carpenting or aerospace uh, and aircraft maintenance uh, of, for example, helicopters. Um, or, for example, why not uh, physical aircrafts that you can see in this environment, uh, like you see here, or even space exploration. So there is no limit to what you can do. Uh, you can do residential plumbing, you can do things like medical and hospital environment maintenance of equipment uh, that correlates with uh, numerical data. Uh, you can see here our Australian customer that is using this. You can see the firefighting maintenance of equipment. Uh, you can also see here logistic application. This is a logistic application for aerospace with what we call see what I see technology. And this is a logistic application where you automatically see what's, in, what's inside the box using augmented reality, like you see there, spark plugs, uh, as a simple example. And uh, also IoT sensors that you can get, uh, as well as many type of equipments. So that's some examples in the industry area. How about health applications? So let's have a look. There you can have, uh, for example, hospital application, OR training, medical equipment, nurse training, lab orientation, anatomy studies, collaborative training, mobile training, special meetings around health. So let's have a look. So this is an application that we developed with CHOC uh, for patient training and patient education uh, and guiding of uh, but also for things like nurse training and MRI devices, a full hospital environment with all the equipment defined that can be also multilingual. Um, as we can see here, uh, CPR training. Um, you see the lab training in the, for the COVID. Uh, you can see anatomy, simple anatomy training. Uh, you can also see collaborative environments for patient-specific data. Uh, you can see here full OR rooms that people can download uh, when they learn in their backyard. Let's look at the Amazon truck that just passes by. Mobile device-based collaborative training that Abiyani can do. Um, and also uh, the ability to be fully immersed with head-mounted display. So that's health. Let's go to security, safety, and defense applications. There are a range of those. Airport emergency, factory hazard safety application, bomb detection training, defense training, resident hazard prevention, firefight training, hotel hazard safety, incident warning, defense history, and hospitality CPR training. Let's go to first uh, the airport part. You can see here that I can design, this is done for Changi Airport, but we can have any airport. We can have debris, break it up, can have different uh, time of day, have different weather conditions uh, that we can engage in for the training procedure of firefighting. And now we see the firefighting engage in the procedure. Here's uh, the application also with the hazardous solutions uh, that you can identify in a factory, whether you have electrical uh, wires that or that are highly dangerous, or leakage, or uh, toxic materials, or high voltage, uh, or cautions that you have to pay attention to. Uh, but also in the home, uh, places you can slip, uh, elevators, too hot things. You can attach it even in the shower, uh, too hot. Uh, another area is bomb uh, training. So flight personnel identifies where parcels are where, for example, uh, different gun parts are hidden. Um, and they have to depict it, they have to find it, and they get certified based on their success in this uh, area. Also, for example, a defense application. You can see a tank training 
in the real physical environment using AR, airport, uh, aircraft training, uh, vehicles. This is also historical devices to learn about. Um, and this can go further to even have signage that is visible in a way that um, prevents people from doing the wrong thing. Now, with that, let's go to what I'm excited about, this hospitality and tourism application that are really, really grow growing. So let me give you some example. Facility guidance in a residential area with avatars, guided sightseeing, enhanced museums, art and artifacts. Let's have a look. So uh, let's start with facility guidance. And you can see here the guide uh, that's showing around in a villa. All you have to do is to pull up your phone. He has a companion I see there. Uh, it's, uh, it's a bird, a hummingbird. Uh, that's pretty cool. And he can show you around. You can see different areas. And uh, in this way, save a lot of time. Uh, let's look at the next one. Here, this is, I like this one. Here you can find different things. For example, where is the glass? Where is the bin? You can see through walls because the AR shows you what's behind the cupboard, cutlery, coffee cups, etc. So it's a very handy application. This one guides you to hotels, so similar to like the residence area, but now it takes you to, let's say, you want to go to the library. So this guide will physically take you to the library and guide you there. Or why not in out the outside territory uh, or guide you to a shopping mall uh, or guide you to a um, tourist destination or why not do a group uh, trip uh, to a museum and let's say I'm looking for Madonna or I'm interested in looking at different things such as uh, uh, yeah historical places or anthropology museum uh, etc so these are just some example of uh, application for tourism uh, that you can utilize. With that, let's move on to architecture and interior design applications. So here we can look at architecture layout, building design studies, architecture walkthrough, historical architecture, exterior design and outdoor ornaments. Let's have a look. So we'll start with architecture layout here. You can see the layout on in a room that you can study. You can configure that uh, as you please. Um, you can see that also artifacts that you can place in the room. Uh, very realistic. You can also go back in time and study history of architecture, but put it in the context of a real environment, as you can see here. And that includes everything from uh, buildings to sculptures to every ornaments that you want to have or you can look at dig outs to really see how things used to look before from an architecture interior decoration perspective um, but you can also study layouts you can go inside environments and see how they are with a very realistic resolution uh, and um, you can also decorate your interior and exterior using various artifacts, statues, pillars, uh, water fountains, and much more, including uh, whole interiors of period. Like this is, for example, the Victorian period of uh, location. So these are some of the examples that you can use in this context. Now, finally, education. Uh, so here it's a lot you can do, XR exercises, classroom learning, collaborative learning with other people, language learning. You can have your students participate in a knowledge world uh, that allows them to earn and learn. Uh, you can do egg hunts, you can do remote avatar learning, you can do homework by your pool, you can do biology excursion and you can learn, for example, the English literature, agriculture training, workplace interview preparation, soft skills training, farming and sports. Just to mention a few. Let's have a look. So if you start with 
XR exercises. This is a classroom in Europe that are using this as a part of their homework or even schoolwork. We have here students from Vietnam that are using this as a part of their classroom training. Here, students and teacher collaborate and learn about how to dissect a frog. Here we can see how you can learn French uh, in just visually and a contextual way and more than 80 other languages that you can switch from, uh, whether it's Catalan or Finnish or German. Uh, so those are some examples of contextual learning of languages. Um, but this can grow to also AR environments where you walk through from a world to another. As you can see here, now they are doing a hunt and giant egg hunt and try to find treasures and these treasures contain knowledge uh, objects and quizzes and challenges that they need to enjoy and get prizes for so this is dna for example one of the questions around dna uh, and here's learning by the pool as i promised you the fishes uh, are in the pool we see here english literature books in the context of a library, uh, we also see soft skills training uh, that is, can be conducted. So it's not only hard skills, but soft skills also. Farm, agriculture, and uh, many, many more. So with these examples, we have now almost a, a, a pretty good picture, but it doesn't stop there. There's uh, 5 million more uh, 3D assets in electronics, in plumbing, in welding, in electrical engineering, in physics, in robotics, dentistry, floristry, archaeology, anatomy, arts, painting, carpentry, mining, floristry, cosmology, minerals, museum artifacts, cosmetology, medical, geology, space engineer, chemistry, and architecture, more expanded to mention a few. So even more expand on things like liberal arts, business, accounting, uh, CIS, project management. So people think mainly that this is useful for things like engineering, but no, we are talking about psychology, religious studies. Um, and you can even go further. You can do time travel experiences uh, where you go back in history and you go to medieval times or uh, go to specific uh, locations. Uh, you can also do forensic analysis where you dissect bodies. Uh, so that, those are some examples or visit a Victoria era uh, location uh, that you can see here or be at the museum or the atelier of the Renaissance uh, which in this case is Leonardo da Vinci's location. Uh, or, or, or something in that nature. So from prehistoric era uh, to classical era to um, modern era, uh, this type of travel experience can be quite delightful. I'm also fascinated about uh, NFT experiences around going back in time uh, to see the major life form evolution on Earth uh, from for example, uh, today's tigers that we have, to uh, eagles, uh, to uh, crocodiles, to see the ancestor of the crocodiles. But you can also have some fun. For example, what I call festivity NFT experience that decorates your Christmas, your Hanukkah, your New Year, your Chinese New Year, your Ramadan, your Easter, even Valentine's Day with toys that are physical or virtual uh, in, a, in a very delightful way. Uh, you can buy your islands, uh, weapons, systems, etc. Uh, so that's about collection. What about competitions? So we also have something we call knowledge competition. And that's uh, when you purchased NFT experience. There are, as you know, quizzes often or challenges or you ask to identify or locate something. So based on that you get a scorecard uh, with quality, score for each lesson assessment and quantity. 
And based on this, you can actually compete with other learners. Uh, and the highest scores wins. How does that work? Where are the money coming from? To participate in a competition, you must pay a small fee uh, for, for, cre for the creation, so to buying that extra lesson that's on the competition. And 20% of that purchase uh, goes to learn and earn price pot. 80% goes to the creator. And the person with the highest score gets this learn and earn price. Let me give you an example. So let's say you buy a lesson for one US dollars. 20 cents goes to learn and earn price pot. If there are 100 buyers, the winner gets $20 in learn and earn price. The idea is that there will be only one winner and the price is given to the best score for that specific period, let's say month. So it's a little bit like Las Vegas, but you are playing, you're putting a small coin and you play for win, but it's not a game of chance, it's a game of knowledge skills. Examples, knowledge competitions. So we have something we call knowledge esports, spatial meeting competition where you're in teams, virtual jeopardy where you have you ask some special themes, but you're actually in the context of that environment or experience. Virtual TikTok for the best created 15 seconds uh, video as from an experience that you've had. World Skills Olympics that focus more on skills uh, and it's a collaboration with the skills uh, um, body that we've been working in the past. Uh, and also giant egg hunts that you can perform and are measured on time and knowledge. All this is also compounded in a personal scorecard and analytics. It's not only about money, it's also about recognition. So every time you log in, you will be recognized for what you have learned and what you have created. So here's your mobile application. In the right corner, you'll have the analytics box, which is private for you. In this case, I can see that I've downloaded 438 experiences and this encouraged me to collect uh, more experience for my profile. On average, I have a 26.3 completion score. Uh, maybe not too good for, but I think I'll take my chances and join a knowledge competition. You have published 63 experiences and I have also here seen that the 689 likes, uh, which incentivize me to monetize their creations. So let's uh, dig in a little bit more. So the first two download experience completion rate is more for the learning. Uh, the experience published and likes is more for the creator. Um, the idea we are driving engagement to this to collect more experience, to compete in your knowledge, to build and to earn. So collection, links to offer, buy a new experience that matches your interest. Uh, we looked at quite a few. Uh, join a knowledge competition, it's all about the type of competitions I've outlined earlier, such as uh, virtual Jeopardy. Um, then the ability to build links to the create a masterclass level and to be in masterclass level means that this opens new possibilities like early access to new products uh, for no, uh, no cost, create a better program, etc. And finally, the likes that links you to the marketplace and recommends which experience you as a creator should offer for sales based on the number of likes that you received. So there's this analytics page is growing in a separate, more detailed environment. We are also covering other things. You get the overview. You get how much you create versus how much you collect. You also get how much time you spend to learn and your completion score. You get the number of logins. Uh, you get also the creation time. Uh, the top 10 categories that you've collected and the top 10 categories that you created. So with that, uh, thank you so much. That was a brief overview of a marketplace, but you can see that there is a lot of value there. So join us today. Thank you.